Having positive coaches and um, having a support system, my mom, my mom is my hero. Um, having five kids, you know, being a, being a single parent, living in Hartford. We were living in an apartment building and I didn't have a place to put a weight set. And she sacrificed her living room furniture to put the weight set in the living room. So when the college coaches used to come by, they see a, a huge weight set in the living room. When you're the real deal in life, chances are good that parenting was a key factor. Welcome back to Sports Sunday. You've likely heard the phrase, I'm my brother's keeper. Well, the story you're about to see is about twin brothers, Elijah and Elisha Joseph, two Hartford kids who have returned home after time in the National Football League, returned home committed to being their city's keeper. It's wonderful, you know. We, we decided we wanted to stay together since, like, the first day of high school football, you know. <laughs> Wherever he go, I go. In 2007, just minutes after joining his brother Elijah and signing letters of intent to play college football on scholarship at Temple, Eli Joseph expressed what continues to be true every minute of his life. He and his twin are the tightest of twins. Ever since birth, we were always doing the same thing, the same exact sports, whether it was basketball, track, football. Now we have the same occupations, you know. Currently, I'm a real estate agent as well, and um, he's in the process of um, attaining his license as well, too. To have someone like him behind me, or sometimes in front of me, it's just a blessing. What I lack, he has. What he lacks, I have. So we just feed off each other. You either make the plays or you don't. I think they think for each other sometimes. I hardly see him talking to each other, but I don't even think they have to talk to each other anymore. Oh, yeah, Vary, don't get fired. Hey, oh, talking now, Vary. We had twins 10 years ago, and now the twins are back. The Joseph brothers graduated from Hartford Public in 2006, went to the Kent School for a prep year, then after excelling at Temple, both got looks in the National Football League, even appearing in the same preseason game side by side with the Green Bay Packers. It gave me goosebumps to see these guys still together in the NFL and having played on all three levels together. I know the work that they put in and the fact that they bought into what we were trying to tell them and we're saying, if you do these things, it's going to work out for you. When I was in camp with the Packers, they were coming off of their Super Bowl win. I got the opportunity to walk through the White House. Just walking through the White House and be, being able to see rooms that average people don't see, it was a blessing, you know, just to be around greatness, it was a blessing. I believe coaching at Hartford and working in a school system at Moreland Elementary School, I think it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I think being cut and being hurt in the NFL was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, I'm back, I'm helping these guys achieve their dreams, whether it's in school, whether it's in sports. We're really making a commitment. 100 straight, 100 straight. Every single day. Eli would play in a postseason game with the Steelers in 2012, but his true calling would be back home back on the fields where he turned himself into a Division I prospect, and back in the school system that launched his academic aspirations. The same would be true for Elijah. Both brothers, back in Hartford, employed his behavior techs at city schools less than a mile and a half apart come morning, and coaching Hartford High as assistants to Harry Bellucci come late afternoon. I've gone through so much, experienced so much, so much was poured into me, and for me not to give that back, pour it back into other kids, it, would be, it wouldn't be fair. I have to give back. There's so many positive things that are going on in Hartford every single day. Kids are getting scholarships to schools. Kids are passing their SATs with flying colors. We just choose to focus on that and then we put all our energy into getting better and continue growing. They're big believers in Hartford and they're big believers in kids in Hartford. Ready?